Hello guys, my name is Don from ACQ and today I'm going to show you how to install the ACQ kernel on the Nexus 5X. Now, let's go through the basics uh, of what we need. The first thing is of course you need a phone. Uh, best if it is a Nexus uh, 5X with a model H791. You can always check the model here at the bottom of the device H791 and of course a USB-C to A cable so these are the hardware of course and a computer with ADB already installed the next thing you will need is this files the first file is the kernel this is our special kernel the second file is the firmware that you need to flash onto the phone we only run on uh, one firm firmware version of the 6.0 right now so if it is not you need to flash that first uh, and the next one is uh, TWRP uh, recovery because we need that in order to flash the kernel and the fi final item is the APK so just these seven things the phone the cable and these four files the kernel the firmware the TWRP recovery and the ACQ APK. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to check the firmware version. As mentioned, it only works on one firmware version, and that version is version MDB08M. MDB08M. You can check the firmware version from the phone settings just go to settings and go to about phone and as you can see this version is not M but is it, it is MDB08L we will not use this one so we are going to start by flashing the correct firmware onto it first and the firmware can be found from Google itself you can go to uh, you can search online Google Nexus system image and you will see uh, factory images for Nexus devices officially by Google developers just go in there and search for bullhead which is bullhead for Nexus 5X and you pick this version the MDB08M and you can download the whole thing now after we have that we are going to flash it onto the phone what we do first is we check the firmware version it's not the right one so we click on it seven times in order to enable the developer mode now that it is open just go in here and enable OEM unlocking we need this in order to flash our the official firmware or an older version then you need to enable that so once you have enabled that just switch off the phone okay and plug it into the computer like this see the phone is now switched off now we will go into download mode because we need to flash the firmware the first thing we will do is to hold the power button here on the right side with the phone alongside the volume dial button just click on it both button at the same time and you will be brought to this screen this is the uh, boot lo fast boot mode screen you might see that the windows might not recognize the driver that is fine we are going to rectify that by going to control panel programs sorry to hardware and sound device manager okay device manager 
All right, you see an Android device, just say update device driver software, browse it, and then pick Android, and then pick Android Composite ADB interface. And we click next, yada yada yada, and install it. All right, we have successfully installed the driver. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to issue commands to unlock the bootloader and then start the flashing process. So we go into command prompt, go to where we have our ADB driver. ADB can be installed directly from Google. Just go to uh, Google Developers and ADB. Okay, so we are going to do the first command, which is to unlock the device. First thing first, we're going to check if the device is connected in fast boot mode. Is it really connected in fast boot mode? So we are going to enter a command to test it. If something comes up on the screen here, it means it's connected. You don't have to do this every time, but you know, in the beginning, just to make sure. And then you are going to issue the second command which is fast boot flashing unlock critical enter and then on the phone you're going to see a message saying do you wish to unlock the device just use the volume up button to move to yes click the power button to accept and here it's going to say device state unlocked all right now with that done the next thing we do is we're going to flash the firmware now we already have the folder that we downloaded from google so we open it and there's a script says that says flash off dot bat here just double click on it and then wait, the phone will go into a black screen, normal screen, until the flashing is complete. Okay, so once the process is complete, it might take a few minutes, like five minutes. The phone will restart and it will come back to the welcome screen. So we just keep skipping, skipping. Let's just do a quick setup. Alright, next, next. Okay, so now we are back at the menu screen. Let's check if the firmware version is correct. So we go to about phone and we check yeah MDB08M. Now we are ready to go to the next step which is to uh, move the files, move the recovery file, move the kernel file, sorry. Move the ACQ kernel file into the phone, install the ACQ APK into the phone and then we are going to flash the recovery and then go into the recovery uh, screen in order to flash the kernel. Okay, now as you can see the developer option is gone again because this is considered a new flash. So you just go to build number and then click, 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 seven times. And we are back at developer options. Oh, one thing I need to tell you is that after you have done one OEM unlock, please do not change the settings. And please do not click other settings as well. Alright, now we are here at USB debugging, just click on debugging. And then we are going to push two files into the phone. The first file is of course the uh, custom kernel. So we're going to type adb push. You can also use a window explorer to do this but I prefer this method. So we're going to push this kernel 
you just drag it in into the command prompt and do a slash SD card slash enter. And the phone might ask the debugging mode do you wish to allow just click OK alright so we are going to push the file into the phone now it says it is complete the special kernel is in there already the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install the ACQ Just the, instead of push, we do adb install space r and then uh, space bar r and then the file and just enter. And then it's going to say installation complete. Alright, now that the installation is complete, we are going to go to the next step, which is to flash the TWRP recovery and then go in there in order to flash the special kernel. As you can see, ACQ is already installed. You cannot use it yet, so please don't click on it now. Uh, switch off the phone again. We are going back into download mode. Alright, so now it is switched off. We go into download mode again. The same button, power volume down, power here, volume down here. Alright, now that we are here, we are going to flash the recovery. We use this command flash fast boot flash recovery. And this recovery can be found from a TWRP official website which is here twrp.me slash devices and then you find uh, 5x and then you use that Or you just type TWRP Nexus 5X in Google, that works as well. Okay, now we're gonna flash it. Just drag it here, flash it. Alright, it's gonna say success. On the phone, you see nothing, nothing might change here, but it is successful. So, what do you do next is you press the volume down button to recovery mode, and then you just use the power button to enter recovery mode and here we wait a bit recovery is here just swipe and install and then choose the ACQ kernel Nexus 5x swipe to confirm installation okay now just to be safe we're gonna wipe down with cache as well just do it and sometimes do it twice and press back or actually you can just press reboot right there reboot system do not install because it is asking whether you want to root the phone and we do not want to root the phone we just want to install the special kernel so click do not install and now the phone will boot and we're going to check if because the kernel IACQ kernel is installed if it is installed then yeah we are good to go we, all right we're going to check if the special kernel has been successfully installed you just go here to settings about phone and you can see this uh, 
message here saying ACQ kernel N5X custodied custodied ThinkPad this means everything is ready so the next thing you do just click on the send code and activate license online and you can use the send code thank you so much